Hello everyone! In this tutorial, we will learn how to set or adjust the figure size in Python and Matplotlib. In particular, we will learn how to set the size of the figure, then we will learn how to properly increase or decrease the font size of the figure labels and figure axis after changing the figure size, then we will learn how to independently change the width and the height of the figure, and finally, we will learn how to change the default figure size in Python and Matplotlib. But before I start with explanations, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot! Let's start with explanations. The idea is to generate a simple graph that will serve as a test case. The first step is to import the necessary libraries. First, I will import numpy as np. Then, I need to import the plotting function. Consequently, I will type this import mat plotlib.pyplot as plt. Okay, let's generate a simple graph. On the x-axis, I will have the simple array. The array will start from minus 5, it will end at 5, and in between, I will have, let's say, 200 points. The array y is equal to 0 0.2 multiplying x squared. So what's happening over here? I'm defining basically a quadratic function, and I want to plot a quadratic function. Okay, now we have the x array, and we have the y array. Perfect. Let's create a basic plot of this function. To do that, we will type plot.plot. .plot. We specify x array, we specify y array. And let's adjust this graph by adding x and y labels. So let's type plot.x label. And let's set the x label as x. Similarly, let's define the y label. The y label will be simply y. And let's show our plot. Perfect. Here it is. However, there is one issue with this plot. It's too small. Consequently, we need to learn how to adjust the figure size. Let's learn that. Let's create a new graph that will be much larger than this graph. To do that, we need to type plot.figure. This function will create a new figure, and inside of this function, we can set the figure size by typing fig size and here we can specify the width and the height. The first input over here is the width, for example, let's say 12 by 12. Okay, now let's type plot dot plot, let's specify x and y, and let's simply copy and paste this part over here. Okay, let's see our figure now. Perfect. It's much bigger and much nicer. However, after carefully analyzing this figure, we can figure out that there are still several issues with the new figure. First of all, X and Y axis fonts, you can see over here and over here, are too small. If you try to include this graph in your scientific paper, you will not be able to read X and Y axis labels. Another issue is that these fonts over here, denoting, for example, the numbers minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2, and 4, or on the y-axis are also too small. Uh -huh. That's another issue. And the third issue is that the line thickness is not scaled by scaling the graph. So how to fix these problems? To fix these problems, let's create a third version of this figure. Again, let's set the figure size. Let's now plot our figure. Let's specify x and y, and let's immediately adjust the line thickness. To do that, we can type line width, and we can specify the number over here, for example, 4. Mm -hmm. Let's see the outcome. Okay, we can see that the line width has increased, and the line is much more visible than in the previous picture, picture as you can see over here. Perfect. However, we still have to fix the x and y axis labels. Let's do that. Let's type plot.xlabel. 
let's give the label name as X. Let's set the font size. Font size is equal to 16. Let's do that for the Y axis also label. Let's just change here Y, put here Y label, and let's see the output. Okay, looks much better right now. We can see that X and Y labels are increased. However, the issue is still with these numbers, minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2, and 4. Let's fix these numbers. To fix these numbers, we need to type plot dot tick params, and over here we need to specify axis is equal to both, since we want to fix both axes, then which is major axis, since these are the major ones, and let's set the label size. Label size, for example, let's set 18, such that everything becomes visible, and let's do plot.show, and let's see the final output. Perfect, here it is. You can see how nicely the numbers are printed. They are much more visible compared to the previous graph. We can also independently change the width of a graph without changing the height. Let's explain how to do that. Over here, I will create another figure. So I will type plot figure. And over here, I will call this method set fig width. And over here, we can set the figure width immediately. For example, 10. And I will simply copy and paste the remaining part of the code. So over here, this part and this part. So let's see our figure. Here it is. We can see that the figure is of the width 10. We can similarly independently set the height of the figure. Let's do that. Instead of calling this function set fig width, we will call the function set fig height. And let's specify the number 10. Let's look at the output. Here it is. Perfect. Okay. We can also change the default figure size in Python and Matplotlib by using the so-called RC params variable. Namely, Matplotlib has a parameter defining the default figure size. Every time we call this function plot.plot .plot, without specifying the figure size previously, Matplotlib will read this parameter and it will set the graph size. To illustrate this, note over here that we played with these parameters, the fig height and fig width. However, if we call plot function again, we can see that the graph is generated and it's generated according to default fig size. Let's try to change the default fig size. For that purpose, let's open a new script over here. Let's erase everything that's written over here and let's start from scratch. The first part of the code will be the same. Here we will just import the libraries and plot the graph. Now, let's create a new graph. But before we do that, let's change the parameter RC params. We will type plot.rc and you can see over here, here already there is this dictionary called RC params and inside of this dictionary we want to change the variable, or the key, better to say, to be more precise, figure dot fig size. And let's set the fig size to, for example, 12 by 8. So what will happen over here, after calling this, we will change the default figure size. So let's do that. Okay, now. Let's execute this code again from beginning. And here it is. Look what happened. Over here, we are not changing the figure size explicitly, so nothing happens here. However, every time we, change, we call the plot function, we can see that the figure size is generated according to the new default figure size given over here. Another important thing to observe is that if you completely erase your workspace, as I 
do it over here, and you clear it, and if you run this code again without running this piece, you will observe that the figure size, default size, is still equal to the new version. And this is one of the disadvantages if you use Spider. The default figure size will reset to the original value only after you close your Spider Python development environment. Okay, that will be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.